Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Ocarina of Time. Last time, we successfully went down to the bottom of the well, we sent our love down the bottom of the well, and we picked up the Lens of Truth, along with some gold sculptures, which we will need for a little bit later on in the game. Now, before we continue on, there's one more thing I want to do uh, while I'm here in the area with Young Link, and I want to head up to Goron City. So, uh, there's one small little thing I can take of, like I said, and you need to do it while you're young, Link. And while I'm here in the area, I might as well do it. So let me take care of that real quick. I'll meet you at Goron City and show you what I'm going to do next. If Link will ever get out of the village. There you go. Okay, so here I am at Goron City. There's only one little brief thing that I want to do while I'm here. Uh, let me whip out the ocarina here. And what I want to do is I want to head down this way to the right. Now, if you go down here... Whoa! There's a little lava area and we can't do much with this yet but what we can do if you notice there's a little one of those blocks that we've noticed in the doors of time so what i want to do oops there we go i want to play the song of time if i do that ah i promise that will be a little a bit important that will be more important a little bit later on in the game so okay so now what I want to do is I want to head back to Zora's River. Now, there isn't a shortcut there, uh, unfortunately, so I'm just going to have to walk off. So I'll just walk back, and I'll meet you outside of Zora's River. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a pony to get me there fast, so I'm going to have to walk. So uh, I'll meet you back at Zora's River, and I will get you there. Meet you there. Link's a little tired there. Oh, come on, Link. Get it together, son. Okay, I've made it back here to Zora's River. And what I want to do, I'm trying, I need to get some energy, some hearts back. I don't need to, but... Okay, so what I need to do is I need to head up to where those frogs are. Because now that we've got a new song, we can, uh, we can complete, it's not really a side quest, but we can kind of complete that, uh, little area there. Okay. Now again, unfortunately, I have to go the long way because... Yeah, I don't. I, I can't take the shortcuts that I did as a uh, adult link, but that's okay. Uh, where are those frogs? There they are. Nope. Yep, link. Stop sucking. Yes, I know. I know. Okay. There's them. All right, so we got four of them. Oops. The Song of Storms. Yeah, they like that one. Yep. I'm singing in the rain. All right. Oh, well, it's thundering, so I don't know how I feel about this. But, yeah, we get a piece of heart. Excellent. All right, very nice. Then that's how I can fill up my life. Now, we could be done with the frogs. Or, we can pull up the ocarina one more time. Okay. Now, what we need to do is... Okay, let's see. Alright, uh, just a second here. Okay, I forgot to play the Song of Time. That's what the problem was. Okay. Yes. Yes, you should. Ooh, rupees. Excellent. Very nice. And I'll get rupees, but again, I have I, don't, I can get this money now because it really doesn't matter. I have so much money, it's ridiculous. Okay, now that they're all big again, if we whip out the ocarina... There we go. The world-famous Fabulous Five Frogish Tenors. Woohoo! Oh, I see. Sure. All right. Now you have to push the buttons in an order, and you got to push them really fast. And I'll post this in the video description below. So let me just take care of this real quick. All right. There we go. So you just push them in. It's it's A left C right C down C left C right C down C A down C A down C right C left C A. So I'll post that in the video description for you. 
And for doing that, we get another piece of heart. Fantastic. Very good. All right. Very, 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 very nice. Um, how am I doing? Yeah, uh, I could go up and let's see. Yeah, there's a fairy fountain up in Zora's domain to get fairies, but I don't really need that right now. So, okay. So now what I want to do is I need to head to the High Rule Market. So I'll just uh, head over there off screen. We're just doing a lot of moving around today, so I'll take care of heading down to the High Rule Market off screen, and I'll be right back uh, once I am over there. Ooh, I'm making a lot of money. Get out of there, Link. Yeah, so if you, another way you can get money if you need to is just go to the top and just go down. And, and, and this respawns all the time. So, okay, I'll meet you over at the Hyrule Market. And I just realized the easiest thing to do is just warp here to the Temple of Time. And you want to do this at nighttime so that you can... Because uh, you want to... This next part, you need to be here in the market at night. So, let's go over here. And if you go into this box, now we can play the treasure box game. Open the chest and surprise! If you find a key, we can advance. All right, very nice. Sure. And we get a key. Now, basically what this is supposed to be is completely random. So, you open up here. And now you have these two chests. Now, one of them contains a key, and one of them contains a rupee. Now... You could just guess, or you just use the lens of truth. Now, for some reason, I'm playing on an emulator, so for some reason, this is just not working out so well. Uh, I don't know what the deal is, but if you just use the lens of truth, you can see what the key is. So, uh, what I'm going to do just to advance this, because I can, is I'm just going to use safe states to do it. And, nor again, I promise if you use the lens of truth, so you just pop one open, I got a key. See, the other one would have been a rupee. So, let's go through here. And I promise if you just use the lens of truth, this works. For some, for some reason, again, because I'm using an emulator, it's just not working out so well. So, just pop it open. Okay, got a key. Good. Over here. Now, I, on my trial run... Oops. Now, on my trial run, it was four on the left. Okay, so that would have been the rupee. So, then it just calls you a loser. So, you just pop open this one. Go. Like I said, I promise if you use the lens of truth, uh, it works. So, but for some reason, my emulator's not letting me do it, so that's okay. Notice that also, like, the color of the room lets you know what kind of rupee you'll get. So in this, we get a, you get a blue rupee, but you see the door there is red. So you pop this open, and it means it advances to a red room. Ooh. Put this there. We get a key, very good. And for making it all the way to the end, we get... A piece of heart. Excellent. Yeah, we're just rocking with these pieces of heart, so that's great. Indeed. Okay. Now it is time for us to return. By the way, the, the, if you use the Lens of Truth, it doesn't consider it cheating either. The game doesn't consider it cheating, so that's nice. All right. Let's get out of here. All the way back. And it's kind of a pain in the butt to walk all the way back. I don't think there's a secret entrance out of here, but... All right. And we are done with this. So now what I want to do is I want to... I need to head back to the future. I've done everything that I can do here in the past. So, in order to advance to the future, again, we just go here to the Temple of Time. And because this sequence is pretty cool... I won't show this every time I need to warp, but because this is still a pretty cool sequence. And because I haven't shown you going back to the future yet in kind of that sequence, I'll just show you that there. So you go over here. And up here. And let's pull the Master Sword. Maybe. The sequence is the same, even though it's still pretty cool. There you go. Good job, Link. It's pretty crazy to think by just by pulling a sword you can whip seven years into the future. And there's Link. He's back. He's ready to go. Alright. Now you may recall in uh, 
we went over to Ganon's castle to check it out earlier in the game, so you can get an idea of what's going on there. But now, now that we have some equipment, we can actually do something back at Ganon's castle. So, let's do that. Alright, so let's head over here. Red Dids, I'm just going to go right past these guys. Okay, now what I want to do, I want to head over here. I believe if I go over here, ah, there it is. Recognize that sound? Yep, now that we have the hook shot, boom, we get another gold sculpture Excellent. Okay. So I'm going to make my way out of here off screen and back to Hyrule Fields. So just take the path back. You know how to get there. And I'll meet you there. Okay. Now I'm actually right here outside of this area, right where you enter the castle here. Because it's now time for me to take on one of my least favorite parts of the game. But it's something that needs to be done for the sake of completion. And the reward is actually pretty good. But unfortunately, uh, it is kind of a pain in the butt. Okay. Now the first thing that I need to do is I need to empty all of my bottles. And don't worry, I'll get all this stuff back a little bit later. But right now, I need three empty bottles. Like I said, don't worry, I'll get all this stuff back in time. All right, let's get all that stuff. Yeah, and like I said, I, there's plenty of opportunities for me to get all that stuff back, what you will. But I need three empty bottles to do this next part. Now, you may recall, when we first got here, we talked to this guy. And we need to go get some pose. Alright, fine. So basically what we need to do is in order to get a prize from him, we need to get a thousand... Well, we, we need to get a thousand points slash a bunch of what is called big pose. So what we need to do is if we go out on here on the world map... Fortunately, a pwn is right here for us. We can start this process. Now... Now that we have a Pona here, we actually are able to shoot things. We, ha we have arrows, as I might have mentioned before. Okay, so what I need to do now, and if you go this way, at specific places on the world map, haha, -ha, these Poes appear. And basically, there's ten of them that appear on the world map. And, th and they appear at any time of day. So you don't need to worry about that. Uh... Basically, it's Peter to Poe the ghost, and we want to catch it in a bottle. Yes. Woo! And we catch a big Poe. And as I mentioned, there's ten of these. Oh, yeah. We'll get to there in a bit, Navi. Don't worry about it. Uh, did I get it? Okay, I got it. Cool. All right. So basically, what I need to do is I need to capture ten of these things on the world map. And I'll show you where everything is. And kind of the, and the quickest way to get them there. Okay. So the first one is right there outside Hyrule Castle. And I'll put all of this in the video description as well. I believe if you go over here... Haha! -ha! Shoot. Oops. Now you may have to do this a couple times. I know it's around this tree. There it is. Got it! There you go. And you can only, obviously, you can only capture three at a time. And we defeated the Poe of the Ghost. Let's catch it in the bottle. And, uh, as I mentioned, you can only capture three at a time because I only have three empty bottles. All right. Now we want to go over here. All right. All right, let's see. We want to go over here. I believe if we go over here, back to this area, there's a pole around here somewhere. Where is it? Aha! There it is. Dang it. Got away. I want to see if I can try and do this here. Back up a little bit and see if it'll show up. Dang it. Oh, there it is. Got it! Whew! 
Took a little skill. Okay. Wee. All right. And we. Beat. Yep. Okay. So now we have three posts. So what we want to do now is head back to Hyrule Castle, which is very easy to do, easy to do now that you have a Pona. I say now that you have a Pona. I've had a Pona for a little while, but okay. Now stop. Get off. Now we want to go talk to this. Oh wait. I have to. Yeah, I'll walk across like that. That's fine. Okay. So now we go talk to this guy. And if we talk to this guy. All right. Perfect. Okay. So I believe if you just show him a, a po here. Yep. And it's a big po. Excellent. 50 rupees. Uh, great. Oh, very nice. All right, very nice. So basically, this is a way to earn a ton of money if you need it. Like I said, uh, money in this game is so abundant that... That uh, it really doesn't matter. Okay. And it's another big one. Yes, 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 yes. 50 rupees on top of that. And we're at 200 points. Okay. So like I said, I can just blow through this real quick. Now, I won't go, I won't go through this every time. But I just wanted to show you this sequence here so that... Okay, so I'm just skipping. Through. I know they're all big pose. 50 rupees. Yes. Great. Okay, very good. Now we got three big posts. And as you said, we need, we need seven. Or we need uh, ten. So there's seven more. All right, so let's go get three more. All right, next place we want to go is back over here. And basically, I'm, I'm just going to make a, essentially a loop of the world map. If you run out of arrows, you can either go purchase some from Kokiri Forest. Okay, let's see. You can, let's see. You can either purchase some from Kokiri Forest or uh, just find some pots and stuff like that to refill on arrows. Okay, let's see. Um, I believe it's over here. By this tree, maybe? I know it's around here somewhere. There it is. Dang it. Got away. Sometimes you gotta move kind of slow. So that it appears. Because the, the, the pole will go as fast as you. In. There it is. Dang it. Okay, let's see here. Let's see if I can try one more time. And just, yeah, just do little loop arounds. There he is. Ugh. So we'll also move as fast as you, but it will also move, so you gotta be kind of quick. Let's see here. If I don't get it this time, then I'll just get it off screen. Got it. There we go. Man, I'm definitely going to have to pick up some arrows. We defeated the Poe the Ghost, so let's catch it. Excellent. Okay, uh, let's see here. All right. Now, the next one... Okay, now this one is tricky, so give me a second here uh, to set this one up, because this one is tough. It's around here somewhere. Okay, yeah, so like I said, give me a second to set this one up. Okay, I've backtracked a little bit. I picked up some arrows... Uh, from that circle of rocks right around the entrance to Druida Valley, I just put a bomb up there and some and some arrows spawned, so that's good. Okay, let's see if I can get him. Golly, this is yeah, this one is by far the trickiest. So, all right, I'll just keep going until I get him. Okay, let's see if I can get him here. You kind of want to face the right here. There he is. Come on, got him. Woo! Wow. 
That one is, okay, that one is really tough, BCS Universe, I promise. I made that look a lot easier than it is, but that is really annoying. Yes, let's get him. All right, whew. That two, I believe I got. Yeah, I can go get one more. Okay, now I wanna go, okay. Continuing to make our little loop around. All right, now we wanna go down over here. I believe it's by this tree over here. Check my map here. I think it's, it's around here somewhere. Ooh, I may be able to pick up some. Ah, there he is. Nope, got too far away. Yeah, so basically it's through that little patch of bushes there. That's where the Poe is. Try that one again. I like how opponent can just... There you go. You kind of got to... You gotta like shoot it at an angle or something like that. Like it's crazy. So, okay. And we've got three more pose. Very good. Great. So I'll sell these and then I will meet you. Uh, I'm gonna meet you right back here because I'll do my little circle around. So I'm gonna go sell those pose and I'll meet you right back here at this at this bush here. Okay. I've made it back here uh, in that same spot. All right. Now, next thing we wanna do is I believe, okay, so you see over here, there's that little hole where we blew up the boulder there. I believe if you go just south of here, it's around here somewhere. There it is. It's going pretty fast. Dang it. All right, try that one again. Okay, let's see here. Like this is a really annoying little side quest slash mini game slash whatever you want to call it. But again, for the sake of... Oh, there it is. Come on. Got it. There we go. There we go. Grab this one here, and I believe this is number seven. There we go. Yep. All right, very good. All right. Cool. All right, there's number seven. Now, there's one more that's actually around here. Now, this one's pretty easy to get. Pretty easy to find. Well, I, I, they're not easy to get. They're easy to find, though. Okay, let's go up on the floor. All right, now, the next place we want to go is right up here, and there should be a little silver boulder around here. Yep. Can I believe if you go... Ha, there it is. Back here, Poe. Jeez. Maybe this will give me some arrows here. Oh, good. Got some much-needed arrows. And some bombs, too. Cool. All right, let's try that one again. I don't know why I'm so bad at this. So it's, like, right around here. There it is. Ugh. Right, one more time. If I don't get it this time, then I'll just get it off screen. There. Dismount. There's number eight. All right. Very nice. Cool. All right. That's number eight. Two more. All right. Now I believe the next one is up here. There it is. Okay, now this one is tough. Actually, I'm gonna go try to pick up some more arrows. There you go. Turn around. Pick up some more arrows here. And money, that works too. No, not really. I'd rather have arrows. I believe it's around here somewhere. Yeah, 
Yeah, see, it's right here in that... It's right here in that corner there. So this one's another tricky one. Okay, so let's see if I can get this one to spawn here. Got it! There we go. Nice. That one was... That one was tough. So, basically what I did is I just hung out there, waited for him to spawn, and then got him that way. So that works. There we go. That should be number nine. Okay. So let me go sell these now, and then we have one more to get, and then we'll be done with this little side quest. So let me sell those, and then I'll meet you right outside of Hyrule Castle, because that's where we get the next one, the final one. Okay. So I've got them all. I have one more to go. Now, this one's another tricky one. So, I mean, they're all tricky, it, it, you know, in my opinion, but that's just because I'm not good at this. So, okay. Now, this one... It's up here, and it kind of just appears up here somewhere. Yeah, see? It appears, but it kind of just goes this way. What do you want, Navi? Oh, yeah. Don't worry about that. Okay, let's see. Ah, see? All right, there it is. So basically, so you can see there, if you just wait, it will eventually show up. Then you can go after it. All right. All right let's try this again. Come on, Mr. Poe. Show up. Come on. Here, Poey, Poey, Poey. Dang it. Okay. So I'll uh, wait till it shows up and then I'll get it. There you go. And that should be the last one. Get out there. Okay. Very good. And let's catch it. All right. And that's the final one, as I said. So that's number 10. So let's go back and sell it, and let's see what we get. We'll have 1,000 points on the card. See what uh, nice reward we get. I said it was something nice. And I expect something nice. Maybe like a gold watch or a... Well, he's a ghost, so maybe like a zombie watch or something? I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. All right, so let's go sell the final one and see what we get. here. All right, we'll pull out. There we go. And there you go. Yep, sure did. I know. Great. Excellent. If I earn a thousand points, well, guess what? I happen to have a thousand points. Ha ha. Hey, no problem, man. Glad to help. Yes. Oh, I see. So I can't get money anymore. Yes, I did. Let me guess. We're going to have to fight or something, aren't we? Okay. And we get... The fourth and final empty bottle. So, that's actually pretty useful. Maybe not worth all the effort, but hey... Four bottles are better than three, so... Okay, now I've got my four empty bottles, and I'm ready to go. But where can we find the next Sage and Medallion? You'll have to wait till next time to find out. So then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter, BCS Buster LP. Check out my donations page. And as always, take care, y'all.